Hello. In this particular question, we are given that at the end of the year 1998, a shepherd bought nine dozen goats. Okay, so he got nine into twelve or hundred and eight goats. Then what happened? Every year he added p percent of the goats at the beginning of the year and sold q percent of the goats at the end of the year. So that means every year it went up by p percent or it got multiplied with one plus p by hundred and then it got reduced by q percent or it got reduced by uh, one minus or it got multiplied with one minus q by hundred where both of these are positive values. If the shepherd had nine dozen goats at the end of the year 2002 after making the sales for that year, which of the following is true? So basically he kept on doing the same process of p percent growth and then a fall of q percent and in the end this amounts to a net of 0% and then you are supposed to find out the relationship between P and Q. Well, if you know the formula of percentage changes, successive percentage changes, successive percentage of A% percent and B% percent is given by A plus B plus AB by 100. So every if for from 98 to 2002, the net change is 0%. So every year the net change is also 0%. By the formula, what is the net change? A plus B plus AB by 100. So A is P. Q is a reduction. So minus Q minus PQ by 100. And this is equal to 0. So what does this mean? This means that P minus Q is PQ by 100. Which essentially means that uh, P minus Q is a positive quantity. Or P is greater than Q. Do we have that in the options? Yes. We have that as option C and that will be our answer. Thank you.